right, hello, and today in this video, I'll be showing you how to wrap, gotta get the bottle rockets out of the way, I'll be showing you how to wrap a tomahawk or knife or katana using the traditional katana wrap that I have no clue what they call it in Japan. So I'm just gonna call it the katana wrap. So, this is the rope I'll be using. Um, it's not paracord or anything, it's really flexible and elastic. Um, but it will work just fine. It's also round. Um, normally when they do this wrap, they use a flat rope. So if you have a flat rope, I suggest you use that, but I'm gonna be using this. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make both ends even. So you're gonna grab both ends, make sure they're even, and find the middle. So that right there, that would be my middle. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm slide it up my tomahawk, which is what I'll be wrapping today. I um, mean, you do the exact same thing for a knife or whatever you want. I'm just going to be going up to this hand guard piece thing and making it so it's really tight. And this is just a personal preference of mine. I take both of the cords and I wrap them around once. So then it sort of makes like a loop. And I pull that really tight. And I don't think anyone else really does this. Maybe not the sides or something. Alright. So then you have it. And then you're ready to start. You don't have to do that part, but I like to. And then, I really hope you can see this. It's going to be a little bit hard, but um, you can kind of tell that this one is in the back. It'll be a lot easier for you to tell. So that's the one that's going to go down first. And this is just how I found it works the best. And make sure you're pulling really tight. That means that this second one is going to go right over top. Now here's something that's true every time you go across. If you're on this side, this one's going to be on top. And if you go on the other side, this side's going to be on the bottom. Because what you're going to do is the one that's on top, you're going to hold your finger there on top of it. You're going to flip it over. And then that one is going to be the one that crosses under first. So that'll be the first one to go down. It takes a couple times to actually see the pattern. And you have to keep your finger pressed on this X really tight until you get the other one sort of generally set. You can't really pull tight until you have both of them over. And then set it down. I usually just stick my finger on this one once I have it sort of set. And then you pull really tight. And you sort of have your first cross there. It's going to be the same thing going up and down. And I think if you're using a cord like this, I would say go two times over. It'll make it look a lot nicer and you can be pretty consistent for it. Um, or just wrap another cord, different color cord, all the way up and down um, both times and you'll get a really cool looking pattern. But I'm just going to do this one once. I'm sure I'll show you generally how to do it. So you're going to be holding your finger on top. Leave it on this top one. And then you flip it over. Uh, the one that was on the top is going to be the first one across, and it's going to be on the bottom. You're going to take this one and run it over. And set it down. It's a lot easier to do when you just have the handle. Make sure to be scooting this up as you go. Um, give it a lot tighter look and a lot nicer too. Okay, have that really pulled tight, and now I'm going to speed it. The main reason of me showing this was to uh, pretty much just give you the technique. I know I didn't really have enough rope, but you're going to want to shape this to your taste. So just do everything you want um, and make sure to pull it really tight, and then I'll show you how. I like to finish it. I don't know if this is like the traditional way of finishing it, but I just melt the end. That holds fantastic. So, shape it up the way I like it. Pull it extremely tight. Of course, once you shape this and then you pull tight, it's all going to change again. So I pulled it really tight. I'm going to adjust it again, and then I'm going to pull tight again. Of course, the longer you do it, the more epic it's going to look like. Right there, it just looks really cool to me. You're gonna need a lighter. If you don't have a lighter, then just tie it off. That'll probably work the best. Nice twist to the ends, kind of like I did at the start. Then I hold one end, 
there. Take this piece off. It's gonna be hard to show you. I melted it not right near the bottom. and then just smash it with my lighter. That didn't even come off all the way. And then you, of course, just get scissors and clip this end, but then it will hold, stay on like that. Then your katana wrap's done, and of course, I messed it up because I don't know, I'm gonna blame it on these grooves, but that is what you would do. Um, so it would look a lot nicer on like a sword or a katana. And thanks for watching. If you wanna watch my other tutorials, or even subscribe, because you're feeling really generous, um, just click my name, or click this annotation of a monkey, or I don't even know, dude. Or do that, girl. Uh, I should probably end this now, it's getting a little bit too crazy. Also check out my Twitter, if you tweet me, I'll tweet you. All right, see ya.